Hello students, today I have prepared a video on a topic called as RIP which stands for Routing Information Protocol. It is the oldest type of the dynamic routing protocol. As we know very well what do you mean by dynamic routing protocol. In case of dynamic routing protocol, the path selected by the router is dynamic in nature. The dynamic means the path is not fixed but changes dynamically as per the network conditions. So we have already discussed the about the static routing protocol and dynamic routing protocol. We know very well in today's world the dynamic routing protocol is being used efficiently. So let's proceed towards the routing information protocol. Before proceeding towards a routing information protocol, we'll first understand the different types of a dynamic routing protocol. The dynamic routing protocol can be categorized on the basis of various parameters. The dynamic routing protocols are classified into two protocols, which are first distance vector routing protocol and second link state routing protocol. In case of distance vector routing protocol, the path taken by the data to be traveled depends totally on the distance. Let's say if there are two paths, one with small distance and the other with large distance. The path with smallest distance would be considered for transmitting the data. To be specific enough, in distance vector routing protocol, the distance of the path depends on the hop count. Let's say one path is having hop count of 12 and the other has the hop count as 10. The one with low hop count, which means 10, would be selected to route the packet or the data. Now, you may be thinking, what do you mean by the word hop count? Now, please be attentive over here. The hop count means the number of routers which comes into the picture when the packet travels from source to destination. Let's say if three routers comes into the picture while the data is being transferred from source to destination, then we say hop count as three. So generally hop count indicates how many routers are there for the packet to be traveled. The one with zero hop count indicates the packet has no router in between and it's ready to reach to the destination. So in case of distance vector routing protocol, it uses simple algorithms that calculate cumulative distance value between the routers based on the hop count. Talking about the types of distance vector routing protocol, there are two types, RIP and IGRP. And in today's lecture, we are going to focus on RIP, which is a routing information protocol. The next type is a link state routing protocol. So in case of link state routing protocol, the path taken by the packet to be traveled from source to destination totally depends upon the link state and the parameters of the link state are nothing but the bandwidth, delay, MTU, etc. So it uses the sophisticated algorithms that maintain a complex database of 
inter network topology and the examples on the link state routing protocols are eigrp which is enhanced interior gateway routing protocol and second ospa which is also a very very important part to be studied in the networking where ospf stands for open shortest path first now let's talk about the protocol called as rip which stands for routing information protocol rip allows routers to exchange their routing tables at predefined interval now why this exchange is necessary so that each router will learn about the network and will updates its own routing table rip is a distance vector routing protocol which employs the hop count as a routing metric now one should understand over here since it is distance vector routing protocol here the routing metric which is considered is as hop count rip router transmitted full updates in every 30 seconds this is a very important point to be noted in case of rip protocol each router updates its own routing table at the time interval of 30 seconds which means each router will send its own routing table to all the router at its neighbor after 30 seconds now one should also understand that rip has a different version so here we'll first talk about the version 1 so here the version 1 can also be said as rip so let's discuss the first the characteristics of the rip or we can say rip version 1 so here the rip version 1 uses the hop count metric it supports 15 hop count limit now what does it mean as we know very well the routing metric is hop count and it here it is stated it supports 15 hop count which means if a router finds the path above the 15 hop count rip would be failed so from this we can make out rip protocol is just being dedicated for small network a network above 50 hop count won't support the rip protocol next it supports six equal cost paths its administrative value which means ad is 120 now since it is version 1 rip version 1 broadcasting is being done what do you mean by broadcasting here each router will update its routing table to all the routers which are present in that as network which means autonomous system so here one should remember the broadcasting means giving the data to all the routers which are present in that network it supports classful network so this was all about the rip version 1 what is rip version 2 so here if you see many of them are similar as compared to RIP version 1 such as AD value is 120 metric is hop count but the difference is it supports classless network while RIP version 1 supports classful network so here if you look it is classful while over here it is classless it supports VLSM where VLSM stands for variable length subnet masking 
which is also said as classless interdomain routing. Here also the hub count is 15 while the router updates after 30 seconds. One more important thing to note down over here, it suppose multicast. Multicast means it will forward the updated routing table only to the group of routers instead of sending to all. So the difference over here, it was broadcasting, over here it is multicasting. Why RIP version 2 supports the authentication also. Now we will talk about the RIP message format. So the RIP message would be either a request or it would be a reply. Now what do you mean by request? When a router asks the other router for a routing table, it would be said as a request. Now when a router replies to that request with its own routing table, we will say it as a reply message. So let's try to understand what is this RIP message format. So here comes the first field which is command. Command is 8 bits. If all these 8 bits are 1, we would consider it as request message. If all these 8 bits are let's say 2 or let's say 0, the other version, we would be saying it as a reply. Next, depending upon the type of version, it would be 1 or the 2. Next are the reserved bits. Next is the family which is nothing but the protocol used for TCP IP. It is normally 2. Next field is all are zeros. Next field is network address which is of 32 bytes. Next all zeros, all zeros and finally the distance and we know very well distance is in terms of hop count. Well hop count indicates the number of routers which are present when the data travels from source to destination. So here if you look A and B, this is the message format for request while this is the message format for request but for all and this is request for some. So if it is for some, for some, some indicates that some will have some network address. So here you have to specify the network address. And when it is for all, that means there is no specific network address, it is for all. So here the difference is all zeros. Otherwise, if we compare, both the message format are more or less similar. So what is the difference? I will repeat it again. For some, the network address is there. And for all, here there would be all zeros. Next are the timers. Just briefly we will talk about it. So basically there are three timers, periodic, expiry and garbage. Each will have its own time period. So periodic timer is dedicated for 25 to 35 seconds. Expire timer will have its time as 180 seconds. While the garbage collection timer will have 120 seconds as its time limit. So with this. We have discussed about the RIP protocol. Just to summarize, RIP is nothing but the oldest dynamic routing protocol which, uh, yes, which uses hop count as a metric which is maximum 15 seconds. It has two versions, version 1 and version 2. What is the major difference between them? Version 1 is nothing but, yes, it supports broadcasting and classful IP address while version 2 is nothing but which supports classless IP address and it supports multicast as well as the authentication. I hope this video is useful for you to understand the concept called as RIP. Thank you.